Texas has produced better passers and better runners, but James Street remains the greatest winner in Texas history. The fact he even got on the field for Texas football is a testament to one of his greatest traits, his competitive fire. He arrived from Longview, Texas, in his words, as the 14th string quarterback. But going into his junior season in 1968, Coach Royal was looking for a spark following three straight four loss seasons. When the newly installed wishbone offense struggled to find its spark, Royal brought Street off the bench in the second game. There was no way to predict what would follow. Coach Royal grabbed James Street, looked at him, thought about something really impressive to say as he was going to put him into the fray. And he looked at him and he said, hell, you can't do any worse. And he pushed him onto the field. James Street carved a legacy that probably is unmatched in Texas history because he became the first wishbone quarterback in 1968. He was the operator who made the wishbone work. It fit my style of play. Basically, uh, I was uh, quick, uh, uh, wasn't necessarily really fast, but uh, it gave us time to read what that linebacker or what that tackle was doing, which in turn, whatever they did, they did the wrong thing. With Street at quarterback, Texas ran the table, finishing the 1968 season with nine straight wins, including a blowout against Tennessee and the Cotton Bowl. But James didn't cement his legacy until the following season. In 1969, James Street didn't simply lead Texas to victory. He stood taller than his 5'11 frame when the Longhorns were most vulnerable. Like when Oklahoma opened a 14-0 lead in Dallas, it was Street that hit Cotton Spire to spark a 27-3 run to win the game. In the game of the century, Texas entered the fourth quarter trailing second-ranked Arkansas 14-0. But Street started the quarter with a 42-yard touchdown run and then scored the two-point conversion. And when Texas faced a fourth and three in their own territory trailing late, Street delivered perhaps the most iconic play of the 1960s. A most crucial fourth down play again for the Longhorns at their own 43 and a half. And going to go to Randy Peschel, and Peschel catches the ball. He thought we had to have a big play in that situation, so he called right 53 veer pass. I start onto the field, and I'm thinking right, it means that Cotton Spire's going to the right side of the field, and we're gonna throw deep to one receiver going out, and that's Randy Peschel, and I wanna make sure that that's the formation he wants. Right 53 veer pass, coach, are you sure that's the play we want? Right 53 veer pass, set up the game-winning score, put Texas back on top, and straight to the left of Nixon. I want all of you to know that we didn't make up the plaque in advance. It doesn't say what team, and I'm taking it back to Washington, put in Texas. <laughs> With the national title won, Texas needed to beat Notre Dame in the Cotton Bowl to cap a perfect season and a perfect career for its quarterback. With Texas trailing by three with less than seven minutes to play, Street engineered a 17-play, 76-yard drive. With one minute and eight seconds left, Texas scored, going ahead for good, 21 to 17. James Street's final game as starter had finished like the 19 before, with wins. He finished his Texas career 20 and 0 as a starting quarterback. James Street was neither a great runner nor a great passer. He would tell you himself that he wasn't the greatest athlete on either the football or the baseball team, but he was among the greatest winners we ever had. And winning was not confined to the gridiron. Street went 29 and eight as a starting pitcher for Texas baseball with a no hitter and fittingly a perfect game. James Street before a ball game, if he was gonna pitch in a game, he would walk away 10 minutes before the game and just go through the teams that had faced whichever team he was playing, he'd go through this other team and say, well, that team beat him, and that team beat him, and that guy beat him. And if I don't beat him, that means I'm not as good as they are. And he had a way of getting himself prepared for ball game that was amazing. He had a flair for the dramatic. He could do things under pressure that you never thought he would be able to do. Three years, he took the baseball team to the College World Series. He won 20 straight games as a starter, and he won the national championship.
They are the images that created a mythical quality around Texas in the 1960s. A coach who demanded the best and a quarterback who refused to let him down. Those images seem a little older today, that past growing more distant, because Texas has lost the man that never lost, the timeless James Street.